Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and I am going and I'm working on my hexes. Look at this. I am so proud of myself. I've put it all together. <laughs> put it all together, look. And I've got an interfacing and um, what's the name? Iron on <laughs> stabilizer thing underneath there. And I have started doing this bit up here because I'm following what Jennifer's doing. And only thing is, I'm finding a bit tricky the colours that I'm using to put on it because of the dark background. I want to be able to see what is on there. So I've done this bit, and I partly drew on a bit there that I've got to do, and I haven't finished that yet. There's a bit there drawn, I think. That I thought was a bit of drawing, but it isn't. It's a bit of, a bit of material because I was using the blue pen that I got. So I drew this down here. So now I think she's put little bits of ribbon to make um, little uh, flower effects, I suppose. But I don't know what colour to use because I can't see... Um, I'm not sort of sure about what colour to put on here. I do like this orangey one, but will we be able to see it? Has it got enough oomph? There's that one there. I do like the, the purpley one. I do like this purpley one very much, but I've also got to have to have some thread on here as well, so I'm thinking I would use a bit of that one because she's made some little um, uh, ribbon flowers. I think let me see. She did something that was in this book. Let me see now. She said she was working on one of these, and I gotta remember which one it is. Uh, if I can, let me see which. See which one she said she was working on. That she used the idea from. Here. Was it on here? I think it might be. I think it might be this, you know. What did we just do? We just did the feather stitch. She did a feather stitch first, and then she did other bits. And there was little um, pieces of... But I don't have to do it exactly as what she did, though. Here's another, another one here with the twigs. I don't have to have mine exactly, but there's, there's, all, there's bits of um, both. There's thread and there's ribbon. So I'm going to do a bit of that. I'll just move one more page over. I don't think this was what she was working off her. But this is a really good book because it shows you all this stuff that you can do. In all these different things, you know, she's got all these different ideas. The other one stitches, one lot of stitching, you know, really good. So I'm going to do some little um, ribbon ones. I'll do some ribbon stitches first, and I'll use. Um, <laughs> I do like the, I do love this bit. I do love that, but then that's going to run out because it's going to go lighter. And but that's okay, I suppose. Actually, the lighter one might be better. Because then I've got more of it, I'll be able to do it. Or the orange, <laughs> I can't decide. Because I want to use this this here, this um, colour. I want to use that colour too. Oh dear. So many things. Okay, let's do some of these and see what they look like. Now these, this red's, um, been, the ribbon's been wound around there for, since the year dot, but it's okay, it's going to come out... It doesn't, it won't worry, it'll still stitch all right. Or you can get your um, hair straightened and you can straighten with that. And I've got a box here with some needles in it, I know I do. Australia's really good today, it's a really nice day. Um, it's going to be 33 degrees. Lovely. I do like a good warm day. I do because it has been cold, it has been cold, probably the day you see this, won't be for two more days after this I don't think, so we wouldn't be able to tell you what the weather's going to be like, 
I like it because it warms it. Last night I got a bit frozen. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. I think it'll look nice. I do think so. I'm really excited about doing this piece, you know, because it's something that I'm sort of working along with the lady and doing like what she's, how she's shown us to do it. And I don't have to try to come up with my own, <laughs> with my own ideas, but, you know. I know that sounds bad, but I just sometimes, you know, there's so many things that I'm doing at once. I just feel now I'm gonna I'm doing this back to front because I've got this is a big piece of that I'm working on here. Now I'm gonna go down in there and hopefully I won't go through the knot. I go through the knot. Um, I hope you seen what I did to put the knot on. Oops. I'm making a. I don't go through there, did it? Yeah, of course it did. It wouldn't be any other way, would it, Sonia? Yeah, it's not this way. I'm doing this back upside down, really. I'm sorry about that. We're going to go around here. Okay, bring that down. Definitely outside of the square for me this is. As far as you know, but I love crazy, love crazy patchwork as you know, and I'm thinking you know this is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty. I do like that. I do like first one good, first stitch good stitch. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go. I'll do this way again. Sorry about this. Do come really close though to your other piece of ribbon but try not to go through it because you'll pull all of your thing out of whack and it'll all distort and you won't be happy at all go out that way a bit right oh as long as I haven't gone out too far so there's this really weird thing going on around here well I think so so this is Jeremy the neighbours have a pool Thing that they built themselves up the back near the fence. And yesterday it was all broken to pieces and all over the backyard. And then this morning, Jeremy came in, he said, he didn't know how this happened, but they've picked it up and put it back together. <laughs> he said, and it's all back together. <laughs> They must have did it in the middle of the night while everyone else was asleep because, oh dear, never mind, <laughs> I suppose everybody for themselves, whatever they, whatever they do, it's their own business, but they must have did it in the dark because, oh, well, we, they, Jeremy's yard is, you can see into our yard from their place, so vice versa, we don't actually look in there because, of course we're down in a little bit of a gully sort of thing, not that much, but... I hope that looks all right, does it? Yeah. Oh, but they're too big. Are they too big, Sonia? I don't know. And they could be. Can I undo this? Do I have the ability to do that? I'll see what happens. Might not wreck it too much. Might not. Oh dear. Put this pin in. Use the head of it. So you don't pick on holes in it in your ribbon. Because the ribbon is tricky. You could lose it real easy, you know. I got it fastened down with something else. Yeah. I don't know. Got him. I'm going to redo this. I think I want it smaller. I'm going to have to turn it around the other way so I don't muck it up too much, okay? Am I pulling the right thing through here? No. What am I doing? Get this one. That was the last bit you did. Oops, I got the needle in there. I haven't got a lot of time to do this either to show you a bit of this work with with whatever's going on. I've got to get myself organised and go and have lunch because my daughter's coming for a 
Kijk, for my birthday. Our Peggy. She is. Not enough hours in the day sometimes. There's too many in the last night though, so I couldn't go to sleep. Don't know why. I sometimes over these nights and I can't I'd hate it. I really do. Absolutely hate it. Now I salvaged it, look. Okay, you can't salvage it if you sew through it though. There's um if you do that ribbon stitch where you've got to go through the ribbon, you can't salvage it. So I'm gonna try this time and I'm gonna try and make it actually this ribbon could be a tiny bit too wide as well. I'll just have a look at the packet and see what. Oh, come on. I want to get some more colours. I've got a few colours, but I think I might get some more. As soon as I start using something, I like to replace it straight away. <laughs> right, oh, yeah, we'll come around this way and do it. Okay, so we've got. Try not to make it too big this time, Sonia. Goodness me, girl! When you go through here, make a knot in the, make a knot in it. There's nothing wrong with having a knot, and if it's not too bulky, it'll be fine because you're going to have a lining in this bag. It's going to have a lining in it. And maybe yeah, that stuff I put on the back might be too fluffy. It's going to pull through there. They won't be happy with that. Okay, so we're going to go back down there really close to that and come up just there. Pull it down and make a, a longer bit on the top there, okay? That's better. Oh, that's much better. Yes, I like that. That's much better. I'm going to do sort of intervals because I want to put the other the bits of little tiny other leaf things or something on here as well. Okay. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, I do like that. Now, should we go down a bit further? I wonder if she was bringing those out from there or in the, in this middle bit. I'm feeling she might have been putting them down there too. Might have a go at that. Do I want it like that though? This is my my <laughs> my idea now whether I do or not. And I don't think I do. I'd like it to come from the top. Or do I? <laughs> I might put one in here. See what it looks like. I don't think that's quite right. It doesn't matter. I don't have to make it the same way she did, but I want to. I want to make it nice, you know. Oh dear. It doesn't have to be exactly. I don't know what she did, how she did hers. I think they'll. If I look back in the book, I'll be able to tell one. There's a lot of waste going from one thing to the other, isn't there? If you're taking it down too far. I suppose it's not wasted if it's a nice, pretty thing that you've done. It's not wasted. If you not. Yeah, this book here. I think she puts the little leaves there, the little little flowers. Now they come out from in there, from those bits. But you don't have to do that. Those on you can put them wherever you like. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do a few more down this way, I think. That's what I want to do. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Miss that one there. <coughs> Put something else on that. Well, that looks pretty. I mean, it's not exactly the same shape or anything, but that flowers are not like that, are they? They're not all exactly. <coughs> I 
going to pull that out just a tiny bit. And that looks really nice. The colours look really good. I'm very impressed with that. I am. Now I've gone back around to doing this upside down again. Just depends which easiest for you, I suppose. Did you go through the ribbon? No, all oh, good. I didn't. You got no idea what you can do with what you got tucked away in the room, have you? No idea. And that's all I can make of that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's a bit in here. Look at this. What am I doing with it in there? Oh, well, that's good. I can use it. I'm going to do some little round bobbly things too. I think I might do some ball things. Mm. It's not got very much pizzazz, that has it, really. Oh, I like this. It's really thick. Oh, but that doesn't matter. Oh, well, wow. it's really thick. It doesn't matter. A bit curly up. <laughs> this is piece of I got out. I was going to knit or crochet a baby a little hat with this, but I can pinch a bit for this because that's going to look all brilliant, isn't it? Going to look brilliant. That's not going to happen. That needle's not going to work though for me. It's not going to be able to pull that through. Maybe there was that one. I'll have something here somewhere. Look at that. That's a big father type thing, isn't it? Hang on, here's one here. It's a little bit huge, but it'll work. <clears throat> I'm going to make some French knots, I think. As a sort of that goes through there real easy, doesn't it? I'll have three, three wraps. They're beauties, them ones. Three wraps. Where am I here? I see. So now this part here is pretty bare, isn't it? Because you haven't got anything down in there. But I'll do these three bits at the top. And I can always come back and put some more ribbon on this later. Three, three wraps to make it substantial. You need to be able to see it, don't you? Yep. I'm going to end that off there because I'll, I'll go down a bit further. I'll just sew that ribbon down in a minute. <clears throat> I might have to bring this down in the inside now. I'm going to make this little... Oh, hang on. Come down in there. Come back up through there. If that's too much or what? No, maybe not. Now this is a good needle I got here. It's a good, a good top on it. It's got good. Oh, I never went really back close to that either. This is not. It's me. When you go down back in through there, you need to make sure you're right close to where you come out. Otherwise you're going to have a gap in your little stitch and you won't be happy. Let's stand next to one another. These two should be too. Okay. Anyway, people, if you do like what I'm doing, and you like my videos, you want to subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything. You get all these free ideas 
then there's me mucking about and being silly and been making mistakes too. You can watch that as well, you see. <laughs> but um, that's just the way that crafting goes, you know, so it's just pretty much <laughs> all true. <laughs> what I do, right and wrong, whatever. Now I've caught that in there, that's handy. But you need to see what actually happens when you're doing things like this. You know what I mean? So that's enough in the, as far as I'm concerned with the pink up there. But I can continue on down here a bit and maybe do a bit more. And then I might change the colour of those things or just keep going with, with the more of this um, mauve one. Really pretty and bright, isn't it? <laughs> can you see it? Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all having a good day. Go and do some stitching, have some fun, relax. Ah, oh, and I'm going to go and have a sleep after I, don't, I can't. <laughs> We're going to celebrate Peg's birthday. That'll be with a piece of cake and a orange juice. So, okay, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.